this lesson, we're going to look at creating a simple form. Creating a form actually takes a lot more than just the interface, but here we're just working with the interface. If we wanted to do something really effective, we would also have a back-end database and some sort of language to pass information from our interface to the back-end database. But in this exercise, we're just working with some simple form components. These are simple text fields. You can type in them. Tabbing moves you between them. Now, with the radio button, you can choose one or the other. You can choose one in a group. You can't choose multiple. With a checkbox, you can have more than one. And then you also can have a drop-down list to select a single option. Now this will actually submit the form to you if you have an email client registered. I have Outlook registered as my email client and this is what it would send. So you can see form post from Firefox becomes the subject. It goes to my email address and it tells me the value of each group here. Let's take a quick look at the code to see how this is accomplished. So I'm in Firefox, I'm going to choose View Page Source, and I'm going to increase the font size to make it a little bit easier for you to read. So of course we start, as we do every web page, by declaring our doc type, the HTML, our head section, we have the title which shows up here, Project 6 Forms, and then we have a very simple style for CSS. I'm changing the body style, which is the style of the whole page, to a sans serif font family, which is clean and easy to read, and I've set the background color to gray. The reason that I do this is because I find that the boxes that you're supposed to fill in are easier to see if they're not the same color as the background. So that ends my style section. And that also ends the head section. So in the body, we are creating our simple form. We've got our H1 tag, which creates this, a blank line, which is created by our paragraph with a non-breaking space that actually creates quite a wide blank line because the paragraph has a space before and after it. Then we create the form. We've given it a name, which I just called test, and we've set the action to mail to. This is what makes it open our email address. The mail to colon action will send an email to whatever address you list after that. The method is post, and the encoding type is plain text, or text slash plain. This is not generally a good way to collect information from a form. A lot of people don't actually have their email registered in their um, browser. Then I have the form portions. We've got first name that we have set with an input type of text, and that field is first name. And you'll notice this is where that field shows up. So we can see all three values right here. So you can see the name is what's going to be displayed with what's typed in here when it's sent to us. H4, this is just a standard H4 asking what development. And then I have input for checkboxes, and these are all part of the language group with the values Java, JavaScript, or C++. You'll notice that with the radio group, again, they both have the same name. This is what tells it that only one of these val values can be checked. This value here is what's sent in the email. This value here is what is displayed on screen. And you can see that because these are lowercase, and this is uppercase. Then we have a break to give us a smaller space and the intended major. And then we have the select name of major, that's this group here. And then the options in the group are digital media, graphic arts, web design, and development. And you can see that each one of these is in here as an option with a couple of breaks after that. The input type is submit. It gives us our submit button, which will launch our form. So you're going to create your own form 
using these. And there are other, some other form input options that you can read about at the W3 schools. You should test it the same way I have by using the action equals mail to. And so that's creating a simple form.